Hey guys, it's Ivy Fox. Welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing latex Halloween costume ideas for you guys because I absolutely love Halloween. October is my favourite month and I love latex, so I thought why not combine the two and get some latex costumes going? Now, I've compiled stuff I already have. I know I own a lot of latex, but some of these are really simple outfits. So even if you don't own latex or you only have a little bit, you might be able to get around using what you've got and just buying some really cheap accessories. If you enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment letting me know which one is your favorite. I think I've got about five outfits, so we should probably get started. So first we have a classic outfit and this is just a little red devil. <laughs> so this dress, I got this from Honor Clothing. It's just this really basic red bodycon dress. Super nice, super easy to get on. Like, it's just a little zip at the front. Looks really cute, really flattering. And I thought it's super basic. Let's just pair the red dress with some accessories and become the devil. <laughs> I've just put on these little devil horns, which I got for Amazon. They were like, 2.99 or something like that and the devil trident also from amazon you could probably buy these in like supermarkets and stuff that have got little halloween sections and then the boots are my amazon thigh high pvc boots in red i did recently do my high heeled boot collection which i will leave linked in the description because that is where i show you guys how much these were where i got them a bit more in detail but yeah i think this outfit's really cute it's so simple it wasn't super costly in regards to latex this was probably around the 50 pound mark which for a latex dress is fairly decent so if you're going latex but you are on a bit more of a budget obviously latex isn't budget friendly anyway but if you're on a bit more of a budget for latex then just a plain dress and just accessorize i think this it is an awesome look. I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> Let's get onto the next costume. I don't know what I'm going to put on yet. I've got a few different options. <laughs> and what do we have next? Well, we have a latex angel. <laughs> this is a little bit different for me. I don't usually do the cutesy kind of Halloween costumes. I always think Halloween needs to be scary. And by the way, all of these I would probably do with makeup, like special effects, spooky makeup, rather than just basic makeup, but it goes to show that you can just do the normal stuff too. I love this latex white dress. It is the only piece of white latex I own at the moment, and I just think it is so figure-hugging. Like, it just goes in right here at my waist. It looks so good. It makes my cleavage look amazing, and... Yeah, this was from Libby Dex. I think it was more expensive than the Honor Clothing one. But, again, it probably wasn't, like, drastically, drastically expensive. The good thing about getting dresses is it's just one latex item instead of multiple. I've just put this with... I don't know if you can see. Oh, <laughs> There's stuff behind me. With this little halo headband I've got. I think it's really cute. It's a little bit wonky. And then these little angel wings. I've had these for a few years and I thought I got rid of them and I haven't. So that's really good. I got them for like a cursed angel OnlyFans shoot that I did a while ago and I was sure I wasn't going to use these again. So I was like adamant I got rid of them, but I did not. And then this little just heart angel fairy wand type thing i feel like it adds to the the floaty angel vibes as for shoes i've just got on these plain white heeled shoes they're kind of like a chunkier wedge open toe very cute very simple anything white will go i think this outfit's really cute and if you want something a little bit more dainty a little less scary a little more just on the sexy and cute side then an angel is the way to go <laughs> Now, I am sure there are people that prefer outfits a little more subtle 
and who prefer little aspects that give away what you are without being a full blown costume. So I included this one for you guys. This is my little pumpkin inspired Halloween costume. Now, like I said with the other ones, I would definitely do makeup with this one to make me look more like a pumpkin, kind of creepy, so that it really pulled the look together. However, I think the belt does just that. I think that kind of gives away the vibe we're trying to go for. I've got the bright orange fishnet tights, which I got these off of Amazon. They were super cheap. They are like luminous orange though. So in comparison, my burnt orange top looks a lot more browny red. I think if I was gonna go out and buy a new top, I'd definitely do like a bright orange latex. And then you could go for an orange skirt, but I think black just again makes it more of a normal outfit less costume like and for boots i've got these new black boots these have ruined my feet i'll be honest with you absolutely destroyed my feet because the buckles are in awkward places but i do think they're really cute and they go with the outfit a lot i think so yeah this one's not too complicated it's just a skirt and then this halter neck top it's crazy how important accessorizing is i think like just with the tights and the belt it changes the look completely so if you think you have to go out and buy a whole new costume or outfit don't just get a few accessories they are a complete game changer i hope this video shows you that so for those of you looking for something a little bit more advanced this is a latex black cat outfit, costume. Kind of gives the vibes of Catwoman, which can also work too. I love this outfit. Don't get me wrong. It has taken me probably about half an hour to get into it all together. Trying to do a corset myself, which is not done up perfectly. I gave up with it do up the back zip of this top, lace up the big boots. Oh my God, I look awesome. And Halloween is about looking freaking awesome. <laughs> so the latex top is from Libby Dex. The trousers are also from Libby Dex. So this is not a cat suit. This is just trousers and a top. But if you had a cat suit, also amazing i don't own one yet you don't need a latex cat suit to make it look like you have a latex cat suit the boots also in my high heel boot collection from amazon exactly the same as the red ones the corset is a pvc corset from i think it was also amazon i've had this for a while i've only worn it once it's doesn't fit perfectly but I wanted to get the shiny corset vibes I didn't want to wear my latex corset because I just didn't think it brought the right thing to the look this little hat came with a Catwoman cosplay I've got and so did this little whip thing but I do own more of these <laughs> that didn't come with costumes and cosplays <laughs> if you know you know um, link in the description <laughs> but yeah i love this i think it's really really pretty it's definitely got that wow factor it's definitely got that sexy look but you're not actually showing off any part of your body so we're going to make a little adjustment to this outfit and i'm going to show you how easy it is to change something up just based on accessories when you've got the basics <laughs> you see what a simple change that was literally all I've done is change the mask to this ghost face screen mask. I'm gonna take it off because oh, it's really freaking hot. Um, I have made loads of content before with the screen mask on my spicy pages. Oh, I dented him. I forgot I stepped on him earlier. I'm just gonna hold him here. And the great thing about this is you could carry the mask around too. If you're at a party or something, you go in, you wear it. But then when you're socializing, you just carry it around with you. It's just so easy. You get rid of the little prop, you switch over your mask and you've got a whole new costume and a whole new vibe and a whole new character. I definitely think my favorite of all of them was the, the black cat. Now I know this is so similar, but I just love 
the cat vibes. That being said, I really liked how all of these outfits came together. They were a lot easier than I thought to put together and I hope you guys get something from it. But let me know which outfit of yours was your favourite and if you are going as something for Halloween, what are you going as? Let me know. I want to know what your costume's going to be. Are they inspired by this or have you already decided what you're going to be? <laughs> like I said earlier, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys for another video next week. Goodbye.